So have you often wondered, do these high ISOs, 3200 for example, 2500, 1600, do they really perform with that so-called promise of low noise from the camera manufacturers? Adorama TV presents, You Keep Shooting with Brian Peterson. I'm here in the town of La Bosa in the country of Bhutan in a very small grocery store. And I have a beautiful young Bhutanese grocery store worker here who is allowing me to take her photograph with nothing more than the ambient light coming through the windows behind me. I'm not going to use a flash here because the light of this ambient is incredibly soft. It's really wonderful. So with that in mind and with my ISO set at 1600, I'm choosing an aperture of 5.6 right now and I'm getting an exposure time of a 60th of a second. I apologize, there's obviously people here coming to shop. So nonetheless, we are ready to go one two three and take a look at that photograph at f56 at a hundredth of a second with 1600 ISO I deliberately now take a look at the next photograph I made a massive blow up at about 400% again notice low noise it really does perform well with low noise at these high ISOs good news for all of us who don't necessarily want to bring up the flash at times Hi, this is Brian Peterson inviting you to check out Adorama's latest contest. This could be your chance to win some great prizes. So, next time you're out shooting in low light, what are you going to do? Yes, you are going to shoot at a high ISO with the confidence of low noise waiting in the finished photograph. Hey, until next time, this is Brian Peterson reminding all of you, you keep shooting. great looking prints at low cost, be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.